Now, one more interesting thing that we have added that every student of this particular batch is going to get a one-on-one -on -one 30 minute mentoring session with me along with Ria, who are the primary instructors of the course. This course is going to be a 16 week course in which we have divided the course into two parts. First part is going to be the system design fundamentals and high level design. The second part is going to be object oriented programming fundamentals and low level design. We are going to actually solve problems like designing uh, your own cab service like Uber, designing a streaming service like Hotstar or Netflix, designing something like lead code. You can use this coupon code flashing on your screen to actually get massive discounts and the prices will slash too. We are going to code problems like book my show. We are going to code problems like split wise, right? We are also going to see things like designing a chess engine and whatnot. Hello everyone. I'm Sanket Singh and welcome back to my channel. So guys, we have been getting a lot of requests from a lot of students that we should technically bring our own system design course. And here we are. On AlgoCamp, we are ready to actually launch a full-fledged high-level design plus low-level design end-to-end -end system design course. In this particular course, we are going to cover every single aspect in detail that you technically need for your next system design interview. And not just for interview aspect, but to overall scale up yourself as an engineer, as a senior engineer, we are going to help you here. We have a lot of discuss, a lot of things to discuss in this particular video where I'm going to talk about what are the some of the interesting things that we have added in the course. There are dedicated mentoring sessions that we have added there is a dedicated aspect of cloud computing and aws that we have added and whatnot everything i'm going to talk about in this particular video so without any further delay let's just start but before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing to the channel we are going to put some really awesome content here so let's just start so Finally, guys, as I mentioned that we are actually launching our system design course, which is going to include both the aspects of high level design and low level design. Okay. So before I actually start with the content part that what all things we are going to cover in the course, I would like to specifically mention about a few of the key pointers of the course. The first and the foremost key pointer is that this is going to be kind of like a hands-on driven course that whatever things we are going to learn, we will try to actually prepare some kind of a hands-on demo so that you does not, you do not just see the theoretical aspect of it, but you also to see some code practically playing around somewhere here and there. For example, if you're talking about uh, Kafka, then instead of just talking about what Kafka is, what good things it can do, how, what all things it can replace, we also will try to actually give you kind of like a small demo where we will be having a simple application and we will show you that how Kafka actually helps there, what is the coding implementations that Kafka is going to do. So this course is going to make sure that your high level design aspect is kind of like coding driven as much as possible in every manner in the every single problem that we are going to discuss. Apart from that, in the high level design part, we have also added dedicated cloud computing part because I know I have learned system design when I was in college and it was kind of like uh, uh, not that interesting to actually understand when somebody said that, okay, you have to place a load balancer, you have to place, let's say a Redis cache. And we just used to think, okay, somehow there will be a Redis cache placed. But in this course, what we want to make sure is that you have relevant amount relevant amount of cloud computing knowledge so when i say that we will be uh, let's say having let's say a load balancer we will actually show you that how you can go to an aws console how you can set up your own elastic load balancer there how you can set up your own redis cache instance there how you can actually set up uh, let's say an ec2 instance and auto scale like when we talk about horizontal scaling vertical scaling then theoretically it looks good that okay horizontally scaling means that you are going to spin up multiple machines but we are going to actually show you the demonstration we are going to actually show you how you can horizontally scale, how you can actually use auto scaling in AWS to horizontally scale, how you can have some instances as warm instances so that they do not take a lot of time to actually boot up and whatnot. So this is going to be kind of like a practical course that we are going to have. That's why we have actually added a dedicated part of cloud information as well, where we are going to use AWS and the services of AWS and part you all the relevant knowledge based on the demonstrations. Apart from that, this course is going to be a 16 week course in which we have divided the course into two parts. First First part is going to be the system design fundamentals and high level design. The second part is going to be object oriented programming fundamentals and low level design. In both of the parts, we are going to have a lot of problems that we are going to solve, which are very important with respect to interviews. We'll talk about what are the situations that can come up into the interview, what are the key pointers, what are the trade offs that you have to keep in mind. And apart from that, we have also added some interesting system design, including the design of things like Uber, Netflix. In low level design aspect, we have actually added the machine coding of chess, book my show, splitwise and whatnot. So I'll be talking about the syllabus, but overall this is going to be an end-to-end -end power pack offering that we are going to have from our end. 
Interestingly, this time for this particular course, we are going to have a two year access so that you guys get enough time to actually explore things all together. Now, one more interesting thing that we have added that every student of this particular batch is going to get a one on one 30 minute mentoring session with me along with Ria, who are the primary instructors of the course. This is going to actually help you to ask any career related doubt so that you can get a personalized, personalized touch and get 30 to 40 minutes of dedicated time of hour so that you can ask any of your question that probably you are not able to ask in the class or maybe on a Discord community and whatnot. This is going to be a free one on one mentoring session, 30 to max 40 minute session. Every student will get once uh, throughout this uh, course. So that is also an interesting offering that we have technically added. Apart from that, there will be a Discord community where you can act, you, you will be added, you will be interacting with your peers, you will be actually sharing your thoughts, you will be actually going through a lot of interesting articles and a lot of interesting information, which actually makes the learning kind of like fun. One more interesting thing, in the low level design part, we have kept the primary languages as both Java and Python. Why? I've kept Java so that we can actually cover things like C Sharp and C++. If you already know things with Java, you can very easily migrate to C Sharp uh, problems or C++ problems also. And we have kept Python so that you also get the aspect of, let's say, things like Ruby and JavaScript, which are not that type safe and how you can do things there. So that's why we have kept two languages that covers a broader aspect of many other languages. And interesting part is that we have also added the part of threading and concurrency along with an additional module of testing. We know that a lot of people actually struggle in understanding how exactly parallelism and concurrency work, how exactly threading works, what are threads, how you can manage things with thread, so on and so forth. So that's why there is a dedicated part where we are going to actually explore concurrency. And there is a dedicated part of testing that how you can write unit test. That's an additional module that we wanted to keep so that you kind of like become an overall fully full fledged holistic engineer altogether and have all the knowledge of software engineering that is required in your day-to-day -day work apart from your interviews as well. This is also an interesting part that we have added. So now coming to what we are going to cover in the course. So the course is going to start with high level design. As I mentioned, there will be some system design fundamentals where we are going to talk about some interesting networking aspects, database aspect. We are going to see how you can scale databases. We are going to see how database replication and its strategies work. What kind of databases are available? What kind of database you should choose uh, relational or no SQL, or maybe if you have some very specific cases, what have been our, uh, I would say experiences, what kind of databases we have worked and why we actually chose that all of these things we are going to talk about. Then we are also going to talk about some interesting design pattern for high level design that is anti-corruption layer, saga pattern, orchestration, front end for uh, back end for front end and these kind of interesting design patterns for high level design we are going to talk about. Then we are going to move to caching strategies where we are going to see what are the different type of caches and what are the different levels of caches that you can have. We are going to have an interesting discussion around Redis. What are the things that Redis actually provides? Post that we are going to see how exactly monolith and microservices work, how microservice uh, inter-service communication happens. What is a synchronous communication? What is an asynchronous communication? We also are going to talk about that how exactly uh, messaging queues work we are going to uh, we are going to show you how message brokers like rabbitmq and their alternatives like kafka and everything works we are going to show you demonstration around kafka and an interesting part that we have added is we have added dedicated uh, i would say introduction to some interesting big data topics like how exactly you can use streaming concepts how you can use actually data lakes and hadoop all of these things that are important for a system design journey we have technically added that all of the list of fundamental topics must be coming here on your screen so you can definitely check that out post that we are going to actually go towards problem solving of high level design where we are going to solve some really interesting problems we are going to actually solve problems like designing uh, your own cab service like uber designing a streaming service like hotstar or netflix designing something like lead code designing ad click at aggregator url shortener like simple problems as well we have actually added some complex problems like facebook live feeds google meets and whatnot all the problems that we are going to discuss are actually probably listed somewhere here on the screen. So you can pause yourself here and check it out. To make things interesting and not make things spoon feeded, we are going to make sure that a lot of problems we discuss in the class and a lot of problems you guys have to solve yourself so that you can get a fair idea that how exactly probably a system design interview is gonna work. Post all of this high level design discussion, we are going to move towards low level design. We are going to talk about what are the important OOPS concept and what are solid principles. I really love solid principles and I believe if you understand solid principle well, then no design pattern is there that you need to like specifically like remember forever. Every design pattern actually tries to solve a problem using proper solid principle concept. 
So we are going to understand all the five solid principles. We are going to see their application and then we are going to start discussing design patterns. We are going to see all the three categories of design pattern and few most important design patterns as well. And for every design pattern or at least majority of it, we will try to solve some kind of a problem that can be solved using that design pattern. For example, if you are learning the state design pattern, we'll try to actually implement an ATM machine. Right. If you, let's say, are implementing chain of responsibility, then we are going to try to implement kind of like a logger and so on. So this is something that we are going to do. And all the important design patterns that we are going to discuss must be listed on the screen. You can pause yourself here and check them out. Post that, we are going to do some problem solving and we'll do some machine coding of very interesting systems like Splitwise. Like if you have to just write the service layer of Splitwise with all the proper solid principles and design patterns in place, how can you do that? How can you write your own book my show? These are some of the problems that have been asked to me in my uh, interviews with Flipkart, Microsoft and other companies. So I want to make sure that your machine coding rounds are also sorted. We are going to code problems like book my show. We are going to code problems like split wise, right? We are also going to see things like designing a chess engine and whatnot. So it's going to be kind of like a, a full fledged solution that you can have for low level design as well. And we'll try to make sure that we keep things as hands on as possible. Post that, as I mentioned, we have concurrency as well as testing. That's an additional bonus module that we have technically added so that you have a holistic approach over soft software development given in front of you. Along with all of this, there will be dedicated AWS discussion as well, where for every system concept, we are going to see how you can actually implement that in AWS. We are going to see a lot of AWS services, including AWS EC2, AWS S3, AWS RDS, Elastic Load Balancers, uh, we will also see how you how networking concepts in AWS work, how you can make your own VPC. We are going to see how you can have some dedicated caching services used by AWS and a lot more. This is going to actually make sure that you do not just know about system design theoretically, but you also know system design practically because if you are learning something, let's say about Redis, it's really interesting to actually code things with Redis and see how exactly things are working. That's what the agenda is. So this is going to be the whole, uh, I would say, course curriculum. I'll drop the link of the course in the description section below so that you can go and check out every single detail. Just go to any particular section, expand it, and you will find all the details that we are going to technically cover. This is going to be definitely one of the most interesting courses that we are going to have on AlgoCamp, and we are really excited for that. And because of this, you can see we have high level design, we have low level design, and we have cloud computing. So to make sure that uh, everything is given to you at a fair price, we have currently, as of now, launched it on double nine double nine but don't worry you can use this coupon code flashing on your screen to actually get massive discounts and the prices will slash to seven triple nine okay these prices are going to be some early bird prices that we are going to have and post this the prices of the course are going to technically increase because we know that this is kind of like an advanced engineering stuff nowadays even companies are asking system design to sd1 2 and 3 as well like for example if you consider my experience i was asked system design in my linkedin and bloomberg interview both were for sd1 for SG2 and SG3, it's common for most of the companies to ask system design. So I believe this is going to be a fair price and we are going to give you a two year access so that you can learn it properly. If you want a lifetime access this time for the very first time on AlgoCamp, we are also giving out lifetime access, right? You can actually see the price of lifetime access here and you can take a call that what kind of an access do you technically want? Right. So this is what the new system design course is going to look like. I'm really excited for it. And I believe this is going to be a new uh, type of a challenge. We as instructors at AlgoCamp, we also need to make sure that we also are facing good amount of challenge in even teaching things. We don't want to make things just redundant and just keep on teaching the same redundant stuff. We also want to challenge ourselves. And that's why we are also going to actually make sure that your learning experience with this system design code uh, course is 100% good. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. We are going to meet soon in the next set of videos and I'm really excited to see you guys in the system design cohort. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Have a great week ahead. I am Sanket Singh, signing off.